Hello everybody, I am the Home Tech Guy and today I have a short video here for you about the scroll bar. How many times have you searched for the scroll bar and have a hard time locating it on the page? I found a way to add an extension to your browser that allows you to change the scroll bar, to customize it and make it larger and even turn it into different colors. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to open up a Google Chrome web page and here is news news.google.com this is a news page I like to go to and it's really long and to read all the stories I would scroll all the way down and on the right hand side the scroll bar shows up but it only shows up in gray and it's really small but Sometimes I want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen. I don't necessarily want to scroll with my mouse and scroll and scroll. And I'd like to be able to just click and drag that scroll bar. And sometimes it's hard to grab it and find it. It's kind of small and it, it disappears and it doesn't show up until I start to scroll and it disappears again. And I've seen many people struggle with this while I'm helping them with their computer. And I have found a way to add an extension to your browser that allows you to make this scroll bar appear larger and also it stays there. It doesn't disappear. So I've talked about extensions before and there's a lot of different ways to to customize the operation of operation of your browser and one of them is an extension called the rescroller. Now this is available only with the Google Chrome web browser. It's not available with Safari or, or Firefox, but if you use the Chrome browser, and most people do these days, I'm going to show you how to change this scroll bar into something that's like this. I've made this scroll bar really big and green. I customized it with a black background and some rounded corners and a bright green color so that I can click and drag that. And, and it's really easy for me to, to to, uh, to find it and it's always there. So I'm going to show you how to uh, to install that and how to operate that. It's pretty simple. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Chrome Web Store and look for an extension. Uh, and one way to do that is to come over here to the top of the page like I always tell you to the little settings dots up here. I'm going to click on those three dots and I'm going to come down here to more tools and I'm going to come down to this little menu item called extensions again we're going to click on that and these are all of the extensions that I have installed on my browser and one of them is is the rescroller and I'm going to show you how to find that we're going to come up to the top left here and we're going to go to the Chrome web store and if we click on this top left part of the window and click on these three little lines we're going to get a menu that opens up and at the very bottom we're going to click open Chrome Web Store and if we open Chrome Web Store we're going to get a list of all of the extensions that are available on Chrome there's there's games toolkits um, all sorts of uh, ways to customize your browser and today we're going to look at the one called rescroller rescroller I'm going to type in up here at the top rescroller and hit enter and there it is right there uh, I have it installed um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it so you'll see what it's like to install this. So when you find this here, we're going to go ahead and click Add to Chrome. And by the way, you can also find the Chrome Web Store by just doing a Google search for the Chrome Web Store. And, and you'll find the Chrome Web Store come up. And I'll show you how to do that really quick. If I just went to the Google page and I just typed in Chrome Web Store at the top here and hit enter. I'm going to see it at the very top so all you have to do is click that and you're going to get to the same place here. And you would type in rescroller at the top and there it is right there. And it's rated um, almost five stars because it's uh, it works and it works great and it doesn't um, uh, give you any troubles. Um, uh, and so I'm just going to go ahead and click add to Chrome. I'm going to click this button here and when I do that it's going to click it's going to say checking and it'll say this 
extension can read and change all of your data on the website you visit and really all that means it's going to show up on all of the web pages that I use the scroll bar is so I'm gonna go ahead and click add extension and immediately this screen pops up and these are the settings and when I look at these settings um, I can use these settings to um, to to change and customize the browser uh, now all of my pages just turned dark because an extension was just activated and so I'm gonna come over here so I've got some better light here okay so what this is going to allow me to do is change the scroll bar size. So right now, if I come over here, it's gray. If I come down to here, to this general tab, I'm going to, uh, excuse me, down to the slider handle tab, I'm going to click on, actually, yeah, the scroll bar size, sorry. Yeah, in the general tab, I'm going to click on this and drag this all the way over and make it 30 pixels wide. So now that I've done that, I've got a really wide scroll bar. And I can also change the color. This default color here is kind of a gray color. I'm going to click this, and I'm going to move this slider to green, like this bright green color. And I'm going to drag this little dot all the way up to the top. And I'm going to click Apply. And look at that. My scroll bar turns green. Then I can change um, other things, like the background. Um, I'm going to come down here to the background settings, and I'm going to change the background color to black. Um, I'm going to drag this little dot all the way to the bottom left corner and click apply and now I have a black background for my scroll bar. Um, I can also round the corners. Um, I can give it borders and different things so I'm going to round the corners just a little bit make it kind of neat looking here. Um, and why is it not doing it? Um, let's see. Do I need to use shadows first? Well, it's not rounding the corners for me. That's OK. Uh, so anyway, now I have a scroll bar that is the same on every page I go to. So if I went to the, the news page here and I refresh this page, now I have the scroll bar on the right hand side. And I can click and drag this, and it stays there. As I scroll down the page, it comes down, and I can click and drag this. And so once that is installed, this little icon shows up here, this R at the top. And if I click that, it's always going to take me to these settings. So if I closed um, all of my browser windows um, and I wanted to, to come and change the settings and I wanted to change the color of it again or I wanted to even turn it off I could come up here and click on this and I could click this button to restore to default default formatting or I can even just come to these three little dots here go down to my extensions again in more tools and extensions like where we, where we were before and I can turn this off and so when I'm when I'm over here on a news page now I've turned it off and so that scroll bar is back to normal and then I can come over here again to the extensions page and reactivate it and now when I refresh this window there is my scroll bar and it's nice and large and green hope you like that I will go ahead and leave a link to the rescroller uh, in the comments below the video so that you could just um, after you watch the video look down below the video and you can click on the link there and it will take you directly there. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and make sure you go ahead and like the video and hit the subscribe button, the red subscribe button down below. If you like this video and these kinds of videos, I will be doing more and more of these. Thanks for watching.